So today we're going to be focusing on her mane. As you can see, it's super long up here and then short up here. She didn't rub it. I had started to pull it. I need to do hers in two sections because she's so thick in her mane and you've got to take so much out. I had started and then she didn't end up going out so I didn't complete it and it has now gotten very long and very knotty and just horrible. So we're going to take care of this today and also with her we're going to be doing a bunch of videos in regarding to face clipping. I've got to get her eyes tanned, her nose tanned, she'll need a body clip before she comes out for the winter shows and she's also going to need her tail whitening. It's got over a year's worth of wee and dirt and mud and gunk on that so we'll be getting that back in order but for today we're going to be doing part one of her main pulling which will essentially be just that little section that is already shorter and then we'll do this longer section our aim of pulling the mane is to thin it to make it more pliable and neater when plaiting the horse down everyone has their own preferences I loved a good pull mane and I feel it is the absolute key and secret to getting a good rosette. Length is a lot shorter than a lot of people think, so you need to have your plaiting down to be able to plait a short mane to roll it up. The end game is you don't want a lot of mane to have to roll and tuck into the base of their neck. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start out just by brushing it through. I always comb through my horses with a plastic comb. I just feel it doesn't break as much. I've actually already combed through it once, so we should get it pretty nicely. Yep, so that's the plastic comb done. Uh, pulling comb. I've always used these little metal pulling combs. I actually feel like this is one of my original ones back when I was about 10 and had it with me ever since. But any just little metal comb that you can hold easily, some have a little handle on it, that's fine too. Just a nice easy uh, metal comb. Metal comb is the best. Now with doing your pulling, if you've never pulled a mane before, grab a pocket of treats and stick it in your pocket, pull a bit out, give the horse a treat. This filly has had it about three times in her career lifespan. So we're just going to start pulling away little sections bit by bit and see how far we get. Once she gets to a point of you know really kind of not liking it, I will give her a break and that's when I'll come back to it. But we'll show you the end result too at the end of this footage. We'll put in a photo of what she looks like with it once it's done. So I always start down the bottom, work my, my way up. I am right handed. That could be a huge factor in that. I haven't seen anyone left handed pull mains. So let's get started. Use your comb as a measurement. This thin little bit down here, I do braid all of that. I don't clip that off. For a lead horse, if you clip that off, you shorten their shoulder and their neck. You wanna keep it as long as possible. I also don't do a bridle path. So when I get to up here, I will divide off her forelock to her mane so that she has the longest mane line possible to lengthen her neck and to short, uh, not sorry, to lengthen her shoulder so she doesn't end up short and compact as an overall image. So we're going to comb that through. That's nice and thin. I don't need to do anything to that. That generally stays thin itself and that will just get cut when plaiting. And if your horse's mane is long enough, when you cut it to do the plait, save that hair and you can actually use that if they rub the patch out later on. You've got some hair to make false plaits with. Then up. So this up here is where we need to start. And you can see the length in it already where it's kind of short there and long you want to take the long hair that long hair is the weakest rooted hair you don't want to take the short baby hairs that are really strong and in ground in there so we're just going to take a little pinch you see it's just a little bit push it up with the comb just going to shake her head use that to your advantage just hang on to it stick the comb at the base wrap it anchor and pull You'll feel it if it snaps. You don't want it to snap, but don't panic if you get a few that do snap. Wrap, oh, grab hold of him, and pull. Good girl. Nice little reward when they're standing. Again, 
want to deal with that short bit first. That's a bit big. I'm going to half that. Wrap. Pull. At the base of the neck. Wrap. Pull. Right. Good girl. Little scratchies. Now, that through my fingers, I know what I like. That's thin enough for me. So I'm going to move on. But I'm going to comb through half of that so I get my length. And it's hard to see on her mane. But the hairs that I've pulled up here and this long bit down here that I want to thin out. So I'm going to take section, pull up at the base of the neck and pull it out. Now you can see I have got all the roots in that. You want to take the roots off. You do not want to snap the hair. If you snap the hair when you plait, you're going to end up with all these tufts sticking up there because you've snapped the hair short. Doesn't look good, they're hard to deal with, and it's an easy solution. Again, right at the base of the neck, wrap it, pull. Comb it out, good pony. And you just take your time, go through, give them rewards, give you a finger break if you need to, or put a band-aid around your finger that you wrap. Stick a band-aid there if it's gonna help you. I've got calluses, don't need band-aids. And pull. Good pony. They're going to not overly like it. Some horses do, some horses love it. Chestnuts mainly, I find, love it because they've got quite a shallow hair root. Um, black horses can be one or two ways. They can either be really hard. See that? Snapped. I didn't take it up high enough to the base of the neck. So we got half of it that snapped and the other half that come from the roots. A couple of it is alright. Just make sure that you don't make a habit of snapping that hair. So a bit large, split that, pull. There you go. Got all the roots that time. My other half and pull. Make sure you feel it all the way along. It's not a major deal if you over pull the mane, but it just means you're gonna have a very thin mane then you've got a while for it to grow out. So do a couple of pulls in one area. See so again, you can test your length. See how that bit that I pulled. Oh, we've got a few stragglers. Pull that out. There you go, that's kind of the same length now. If you're pulling manes for the likes of a jumping horse, or a Welsh pony and it's just maintenance, you check it by your comb. You go along like a hairdresser would to check the length and pull as needed. And then to get these really fine bits, you then would go through with like a thinning scissor just to get them neatened up. Okay, as you can see, I have actually made a lot of progress on this filly. It's been about 10 minutes and I've actually got a lot further than I thought. She has been, she hasn't been as hard set into her mane as it usually has. Might be an age thing, might be the fact that we're here in the sun. Oh, and the mane is dirty. You have to do it on a dirty mane. You have so much more grip and texture than a clean mane. A clean mane to pull is very difficult. You want a dirty mane. And hers is nice and dirty. It's, you can see my hands, they're pretty grotty. So I've come up here and I've divided off what would normally be a clipped bridle path. You can see it's kind of where her sweat mark is from the halter. We're here in Queensland climate, probably about 28 degrees out here at the moment. So I've taken just back behind that, square that up, and that's her forelock. I braid all of that, what would normally be a bridle path, on this filly anyway. My plaited horses, they have a braided forelock. I've got a purebred out in the paddock who has an actual clipped forelock, which is purebred mare. So we've just got this last little bit here to finish off. You can see it's still not perfectly even, but I'm going for thickness. This is for a thickness. She's gonna be plaited, not presented with a mane out. So, and she's, you can tell she's so distressed. She's falling asleep on the towels here. So we've got this little bit left here to pull. Got mom to turn the camera back on and we'll just finish her up and I'll find a pair of scissors and just show you how, for a look wise, you can just go through and neaten up. You do not want to just bang it though, it just destroys the whole look. So we're just gonna finish off. You can see how much lighter that is in comparison to before. So we go down, we get a little bit, pull it up, 
base of the neck and pull out. You can see how easy that pulls out too. If it doesn't pull out easy, number one, check your technique. Check your technique. Two, the temperature of the day. Is it a cold day? If it's a cold day, they're gonna hang on to it. Oh my gosh, the dog. <laughs> when did she get there? Move your hand, I can't see. Oh, the dog lying down in the shade. In the shade. Oh, just should have just left her there. No, she happens to step, she'll squash her. So there's a lot of stigma around pulling the manes that the horses hate it, it's painful, it's horrible, it's animal abuse. If you just go through and do nice little bits, she'll have a head shake, but it comes out easy. I'm not ripping and tearing. She was started off by having her mane pulled and then a handful of pellets. So she's actually been taught to stand for it. And like I said, I've only been here 10 minutes. Haven't been here long at all. It's come out nice and easily, so I just kept going. She goes, Mum, that is a large chunk. That's the other thing too. If it comes out really hard and they're really upset about it, just try doing even thinner little strips. And you see, like, I pull on that big chunk and she goes, ah, 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 no thank you. I grab a little one and she just shakes her head. She doesn't actually tell me no. So, good girl. And that's what I would call basically done. It's nice and thin. It's a thickness that I like, but it's a lot thinner than what it was. And now the last step would be just to come through with a scissor and just even that up so that when you're around house it just looks nice and neat and if you're going to lessons etc you've got a nice neat little mane there but before we go into that what i'm going to do is her forelock yes i pull the forelock it keeps it healthy it keeps it at a nice length for when you're plaiting up. I have a little trick too for when I do up the plaits. I don't just roll it up and bang it so you get a straight cut. I actually do a little twist and bend it up which I will show you in a plaiting video. But for now we're gonna pull it and there's an actual way to do it. So go right down to the end and get those yucky split ends. Take it, good girl. Right up, wrap, half pull and then pull. So you just don't try to get it all out at once. Give it a good pull, don't hesitate and just pull. Let it sit and then take the rest. So we've done our initial big pull. You can see that's kind of taken the point off. What we're gonna do now is take it out to the side. Yeah, you know darling, don't you? Grab these ends, take it in, right down to the base, pull and pull. Good girl. Okay, so that's even shorter again. Now we're gonna take this bottom half out to the side, get these yucky ends. Pull, pull, good girl. That was a big one. Starting, coming out much nicer now. And the color's better, because you're taking those yucky ends off. Just gonna do one more final out to the end, get that peak. Good girl, take it out. Good girl. There we go. And you can see it hasn't taken a lot off because you still want a forelock, but it's just taken these yucky ends off. It's taken about an inch off and it's a lot thinner so that it will roll up into a braid a lot nicer. And I may still, have another go at that before I plait her up in the future. Mainly at the top bit here, that still feels a little thick, but that's all I'm gonna do for now and just leave it there at that. And again, if you do it nicely, you do it with some rewards, nice little chunks, don't do big chunks, take your time with it, give yourself a good amount of time and don't try to get it all done at once. I could with her today because it was coming out nice she was standing like this, like she's obviously so distressed about having her mane pulled. And then I step back 
and the dog's at my feet and you can see all that lovely hair that's come out but no so that's our mane like I said again if you were to have a Welsh pony or you're just doing it for the likes of a show jumping horse you could go through with preferably a thinning scissor so you don't make blunt cuts and just even it up but we're just doing it for the thinness that I desire for plaiting so we're going to leave her as she is today and that's it done